Previously on Perfectly, Imperfect Gardening with Tanya. So far, y'all, I put the three-tier basket here. That way I can have a little more color when you get around and here. And this is where the hubby is gonna be putting the tarp. So he getting that situated so he can cut it out to shape. We also have to change out this arch. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, but I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. See where it's broke down here. So, I have to change this out. And this stuff don't grow over it. I'm gonna have to figure it out. So I'm gonna have to get that done too. Hey, 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 my PIJs. Hoping you all are having a great day today. For all my newbies, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for trying out my channel. To all my PIGs, thank you so much for sticking with me and helping me grow my channel. I appreciate you all so much. Y'all, I am here today to bring you all up to par with where we at now. You guys been with me from day one, seeing how my garden is transforming and everything, me putting everything into this garden. I do it as I go. Y'all see everything as I put it in. So y'all seeing my garden come to life right in front of y'all eyes. The same way I'm seeing it come to life. So I'm here today to bring you guys up to what I'm doing right now. Y'all see me um, start this project and everything. So I want to keep you guys in the loop of what I'm doing in between the videos. And this is one of those videos that I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing in between my videos. <laughs> you know, you have a video and then all of a sudden you come back, stuff be done. It's one of those, the stuff that I'm doing in between those videos. So let's get to it. This is the mulch that I am finishing the rubber walkway right here y'all remember the rubber walkway me and my husband put in i'm finishing that up <clears throat> around here so we still on the same project but i just been doing little things in between like for instance i put in this little cat this area and i also put in these I finished putting the tarp in and the stepping stones for the other side of the oak tree. And I moved the fire stick and the succulents right here over to here. And I actually have lights on this fence. Let me see if, they, if I cover it up. No, you're not gonna be able to see them. And I put a little cactus area in over here. Y'all check out this little stand I built. Let me show you from a little bit far back. Right here, I used a bed, a twin bed, um, the part you put the mattress on. I found off the side of the road, and this little bench I found off the side of the road. And this little wall thing in the middle right here, I found that from Goodwill. And these pot, this pot I already had, I showed you guys in the previous video. And these right here, as you see, they're gonna look kind of spaced out and not full because you know you got to give them room to grow. So you got the space, have space. And the only thing gonna do get bigger and bigger and bigger and prettier and prettier and prettier. I think I might add some rock or something. But eventually, guys, it's gonna fill in like this. So when I put this in, like one of these had a little bit of this on it. Now look, the whole thing full. So that's how these pots gonna get. It's gonna fill all out, fill up with um, like this one did. This one right here was like that. 
something like that but it ended up filling out so these baskets are going to be so gorgeous once we give them a little time you have to just use that little imagination mm -hmm. and then i also added in this adding in these let me see if I can stand back here. This way I'm working at where my mess is. Let me stand back here. So see if I can get y'all a bigger picture. And I put this in here. You guys see when I move this my three-tiered basket I made out of the pool. I had moved it over here. Everything's coming back. You know, in the winter, everything looked like it's burnt and dying, but it does come back. Right here. So this is just gonna evolve and be beautiful and beautiful. More beautiful. More beautiful. But guys, I just wanted to show you guys what I have been working on. I'm finna get this mulch down right now. And what did I, oh, I don't know if I showed you guys, but I also changed this arch. Remember it was this white one right here. Because I stay in Florida. Because we live in Florida. Well, no, let me take that back. It's not because we live in Florida. It's because I stay off the beach, y'all. The beach is like a couple rows away. It's like a two, three minute walk for me. And they have like these little riding things you can ride all around, like a touristy neighborhood. You know, you can't tell it by looking in, at my yard because they have so many tall, tall buildings and stuff over there. This is like a little residential place of the older house. I stay in a historical neighborhood. So my house is like a hundred years old or so. Have a plaque and everything on there. So being on the beach, Everything is acidic. The air is acidic. The ground is acidic. So we have anything metal, no, no matter how it is. If I put, if I leave my tools out the door, the next day, they be corroded. Everything get corroded so fast here in my yard. So I have to replace stuff like that. I said I was gonna go to all wood, but wood way more expensive and I'm always on a budget. I end up getting more metal. So long story short, I had to replace that one. And and I decided to get one like this because ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I had got me a new dragon fruit. Let me stand back so. Let me go walk over here. Dang, I'm walking on everything. Let's see. See how that, I wanted it to go straight like that to resemble this a little bit. See, so it can go straight into that. Yeah, I want it to resemble it a little bit. So that's why I bought this shaped one instead of a round or curved one. This flower caught my eye, y'all. This rose. This smells so good. Ooh, wee. Smells so good. Mm -hmm. It's rose season, y'all. But that is a big, beautiful rose. Yes, I did get off track again. Yes, 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 I did. That's me being me. But I'm also working up in here. I pulled up, see the stuff right here? It's all the stuff that I pulled up. I had put that papaya back here, hoping it lived, it didn't. So I pulled that up too. And I had this um, desert rose over here. I put it in the ground over here. So I clean all this out back here. I had ordered some Jamaican cherries that should be coming in the mail bush. They get big. So I think I might put one here. I ordered three of them. Buy one, get two free 
or here I'm gonna put one in this area somewhere I'm gonna put one back there somewhere and probably one in back there by the gate somewhere I'm not for sure but we'll see when when they come yep so I've been getting all this clint out I'm working on that and also up in there because all this stuff from the top falls down in there so I'm be cleaning that up cleaning up that up in there too I cut and pruned my passion fruit from around it so I can get some sun because it was not even getting light through here y'all see me put this in the rose video right there so this junky spot here I gotta get it cleaned up now I keep saying I'm gonna clean up here but hell then I get in here and look at it I'll be like mm 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 we're just gonna stay like that we're gonna stay like that <laughs> we're gonna stay like that y'all but I am getting all this stuff cleaned up all the mess that I'm making trying to get this stuff out I make a big mess when I'm doing projects as y'all can see but everything's gonna get cleaned up y'all how y'all think everything's coming out so far I got this mulch here off of clearance because all of them have holes in them are ripped somewhere or something so they gave them to me for half price which is great right at the right time because this right here mulch I'm like eight dollars a bag and I definitely with my budget was not going this route so from here on it's gonna be regular mulch yes Oh, and over here, I clint that trumpet rose, trumpet rose, that trumpet bush. That sprawled out around everything. I clint all that back off of this stuff. It was covering all that. All that was covered. You couldn't see nothing but the top parts. This little top parts of this. So I took all that out and cut it all the way back. But I left it over here on the pond. I left that area. I cut the, the things down so it won't be so loud the puns off so that my rose right here it's a rose right here that can get a little more light now I couldn't go all the way back because it's actually that is in there and then I would have took I had to take off too much so I did uncover it a little bit though and I uncovered this hibiscus all the way right here and I uncovered this one all the way so and those two white flowers remember they was close together there they got so big I had to separate them put one on each end over there so that's just a little update on what I've been working on since the last video of me working and how everything is coming out so far I'm almost done I'm gonna drop this mulch down. Y'all will see how they come out next video. Next video or my next working video. You will see how everything come out. How everything turn out. Because by spring, I want everything done. And I also have to put in my water irrigation. And what's coming up next is this project over here. I had my birthday party, y'all. And I'm still cleaning up from it. But I'm going to put a herb garden 
around my front area. I want like some sort of patio type thing. Something that I can have my flowers on, my herbs on, that I can just walk out the back door. So y'all, thank you all for staying to the end of this video for my little update on what we're doing so far in the completion. And guys, I'm gonna see you later.